Today, 10 a.m. Eastern time, we had uh, poor data from the uh, United States of America. Low reading here uh, when it comes to uh, ISM Manufacturing Employment Index and uh, USD ISM Manufacturing New Orders Index. And uh, above all, we had also the ISM Manufacturing PMI for September came out with a reading, a lower reading, about 50.9. Previous numbers was 52.8. And uh, the consensus were 52.2. And we had a reading, as I were mentioning, 50.9 at 10 a.m. Eastern time or 7 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, the dollar plummeted today. And the stock market uh, went up strong in the States and also uh, in the Euro, Eurozone. And a uh, little bit fun is that also the billions or the precious metals, in this case we have the silver, have went up very strong. This is the daily chart. And we can see that today we had a rise of 7.35%. So it's a massive gain. And uh, let me show on uh, the four hour chart, the silver. And uh, we have a good rise here above the former previous um, supply zone, went strong above here. And uh, let's see one hour chart. Uh, <coughs> this is the whole picture, one hour chart. And let me show and enhance this area here <clears throat> i went in at this low that this level here about 18.50 here i went long with the silver the reason being is that we have a former demand level here went down went up then went down once more then we see a very fast momentum on the upwards here, this, the buyer stepped in very fast, very steep angle here. So uh, I went back for a pullback to this level here, this level, that's 18.50. And I bought it here and also you can see a wick, a bullish pin bar here, one hour chart. Then I just righted the up move here. So if I click here right now, I have 1000 US dollar in profit. And um, at this time, I had a risk reward ratio that I was anticipating for about 12 times my risk. And you can see that this is my take order level at 20.57 almost. It's very close here. So I think I am very happy to take the profit here about 11.5 times my risk. I put my uh, stop level here. My risk was uh, almost 88 US dollar and my profit is over $1,000. So it's uh, almost 12 times the profit. So it was very successful trade here. I went long with the silver. So I will cash in my $1,000 like this. And uh, let's show the one hour chart once more. We can see that <clears throat> this structure of three candlestick bars, daily chart, one, two, three. We can see it's very interesting trade because it's also a, uh, a morning star pattern, which combines of three candlestick bars. So let me draw in this mother bar that make this an inside bar strategy pattern like this. This is the high, this is the low of this mother bar. And this is the inside bar. So the top 
price didn't go above this mother bar and it didn't go below this mother bar or inside this inside structure here. So this makes an inside bar strategy pattern. Then we had a false break, uh, a fake bearish price on the downside heading south, south here. So this is a way for banks to get liquidity here because you can see an important uh, demand level here. So lots of traders who went long here, they put the stop orders below this level. And of course, the banks, institutions, hedge funds, they want to take your money because they get uh, they have a need for uh, more liquidity for the big long trade here in, in silver. So therefore, you can see a very strong uh, reversal trade that we had a red trade, as I was mentioning. When sellers stepped in and the big institutions go against the retail traders, and we can see a very potent and strong daily bullish pin bar here with a wick here and also close strong above the former opening here and uh, yes and it's also exploded here when the price left this mother bar that forms an inside bar strategy so it just exploded here about an inside pattern here so um, that was the silver and uh, i'm very this this year has been a very funny uh, movements when it comes to securities all the way because securities uh, assets that usually should go strong during this inflation and um, this inflation situation we are facing now for instance silver has went down very weak as you can see which it should never be happening also the gold have been trending on the downside which should not re which should not never happen inducing during an inflation scenario because billions like silver and dollars sorry silver and uh, gold is usually a hedge against inflation but uh, today we have a happy move lots of uh, indexes in the states heading up and also silver and gold today. So this is kind of funny moves because this shouldn't happen, this downtrend here. But everything went down this year. So uh, this, uh, despite, uh, except for the US dollar, US dollar have been very strong due to this inflation threat this year. So um, I am very happy to be a technical trader because the fundamenta is not easy to follow these days, as I was mentioning. Assets that should go very strong during high inflation have not gone strong. It has trading on the downside. So I'm very content to be a technical trader and just look what price action can show me here. So I just go and follow the smart man and what the banks are doing here and put the fundamental data on the side. So I hope you like this video. I have a lot of videos to show you, lots of profits and also uh, why it went well. I also very uh, cr uh, important for me to tell you the reason why I go in short or going long. And I, as I was mentioning on this daily chart, it was an inside bar strategy and this was a fakey. So I, I often waiting, anticipating for the banks to do, uh, to st do a stop hunt here. So exactly what happened here. It went down and the banks took the money here below this 18.10 and get liquidity here and stop hunting. So they took the money from retail traders and it just boom on the upside. Okay, I will stop talking now and I hope, I hope you like this video and uh, I will be back soon.
Take care. Bye for now.